Well, hello and welcome to this project on indirect proportion, inverse variation, direct proportion, uh, suitable for IGCSE mathematics, GSE higher tier, that is mathematics, and grade 10 in this test on Asia, and of, co of course GED mathematics. Now, this project has been uh, uh, su suggested to me by uh, somebody. Uh, basically, we've got uh, two friends, Tom and Dick. Uh, they got uh, the same project, okay, in all respects. So while Tom can do the project on his own for two hours, Dick will take three hours to complete the same project. Now the question now is, if Tom and Dick combine to do the same project, assuming that Tom and Dick work at the same rate and do not get in each other's way, if they don't combine, how long will it take them to finish the same project? Right, now, before we uh, carry on, can you have a look at the annotation below, please? Um, basically, YouTube thinks that I've been asking robots to <laughs> click on my videos. So what happens, they, they then um, reject the video and, and then up, upload the video again. In which case the view figures drop to zero. So do not let the view figures um, matter so much. It, that doesn't matter at all. So ignore the view figures for now. Anyway, there we go. Right, moving on. Uh, there are two methods for doing this. You got the arithmetic or the numeric method there, or the algebraic method there. Now, we look at it this way. Have a look at the, in the first hour or so, now, for the first hour, you can assume that Tom will have finished half of the work. Yeah? And uh, that Dick will have finished one third of the same job. So now we have that uh, the amount of work done by both combined will be a half plus a third. Now, in equivalent fraction terms, that becomes 3 over 6 plus 2 over 6. Uh, which gives us 5 over 6. So, 5 sixths of the job uh, will have been done in one hour. Therefore, the whole job, if you like, 6 over 6, being pedantic here, will be done in 6 over 5 hours, which is equivalent to 1 hour and 12 minutes. Now, for the algebraic method, now, at the end of this method, there is a puzzle for you to do at the end. So, hopefully, you you'll be patient enough to you know, watch to the end. Right. Now, for the algebraic method, we're looking at um, distance, speed, and time. Very similar indeed. So, if we assume that, uh, if, we, if we let R sub T be Tom's work rate, which is speed, and RD is Dick's work rate, which is speed in distance, speed, and time uh, atmosphere. And time is time. Now, the distance will be equivalent to the work done, W. And speed times time will give you distance. So, RT times the time will give you the work done. So, we have uh, two R sub T is equal to W, while three R sub D is equal to uh, work done by Dick, this one here. So we then have that 2R sub t is equal to 3R sub d. Uh, oops, I'm not sure why, I'm not sure why I've, I've got that repeated, but never mind. So RT, uh, R sub t will be 3 over 2R sub d. Now, if they don't combine to work together, now R sub t times t, plus R sub D times T will give us the amount of work done, T being the combined time when both work together. So when you factorize, you end up with this. Now, meanwhile, do not forget that RT is 3 over 2 RD. So we then have uh, 3 over 2 RD plus RD. Now, do not forget also that R3, 3 R sub D is equal to the amount of work done, which is there. 
Now, if you combine what's in the bracket there, that becomes two and a half, which is five over two. So five over two R sub D times T is equal to the amount of work done, which is three R D there. Okay, and isolating T on its own, and then we can remove the R sub Ds. So we end up with T is equal to um, three times two over five, uh, three times two, because we divide it here by a fraction. So the numerator will go to the top and the numerator will come to the bottom there. That's what we call there. So T is uh, one, and one and one fifth hour, which is equivalent to uh, one hour and 12 minutes. Now here's the puzzle. Tom and Dick have not have not been joined by Harry, their friend. Now, if all three now work together, how long will it take to complete this job? The same project. Now, the algebraic method is a bit more difficult, but this is, this is the, the numeric or the arithmetic method is so much easier. Have a go at this and let me know how you feel about it or how you get on. Thank you for watching and please, please subscribe. And I hope you're not a robot. <laughs> Thank you. Bye-bye.